In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, loving Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for this new day that you have blessed each one of us. We rejoice and we are glad in it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your unconditional love. We are here right now. As your mercy and love endures forever, we humble ourselves, Lord, and we gather right now in your presence. As we know that every good and perfect gift comes from you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your love to your Son Jesus, who have redeemed us from every curse of the law. Even though we were not deserving, even though we were unbelieving, doubting, and wavering in our faith, you have been faithful throughout our life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with us, for guiding us, instructing us the way we should go. Holy Spirit, as we have gathered right now, take control of this session. Speak to each one of us. Give us the revelation of the word and the understanding. And as we have listened this word, let this word go deepen into our hearts. And let us meditate day and night. So that we cultivate the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And be a listener, doer and the sharer of your word. Thank you Lord. For all this we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority and we bind all powers and forces of evil in the air, in the ground, in the water, in the underground, in the underworld, in nature and in fire. You are the Lord over the entire universe and we give you glory for your creation. In the name of Jesus, we bind all demonic forces that have come against us and our families and we seal all of us in the protection of your precious blood that was shed for us on the cross. Thank you, Lord, for surrounding us with your mantle of love and protecting us from the snares of the enemy. Amen. Amen. Almighty, we thank you for this pregnancy. We thank you because you have taken sickness out of our midst. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15. And so we will not have any of the negative symptoms of pregnancy. We will not have morning sickness, swollen feet, diabetes, hypertension or preeclampsia. Almighty, we thank you for this pregnancy. We thank you because you have taken sickness out of our midst. Deuteronomy 7 verse 15. And so we will not have any of negative symptoms of pregnancy. We will not have morning sickness, swollen feet, diabetes, hypertension, or preeclampsia. Your word declares that we shall not suffer miscarriage and the number of our days you will fulfill. Exodus 23 verses 25, 26. This pregnancy will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. We are tighter and your word says you will rebuke the devourer for our sake and he shall not destroy the fruits of our womb. Malachi chapter 3 verses 10, 11. Your word declares that we shall not suffer miscarriage and the number of our days you will fulfill. Exodus 23, 25 to 26. This pregnancy will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. We are tighter and your word says you will revoke the devourer for our sake and he shall not destroy the fruits of our womb. Malachi 3 verses 10, 11. We thank you because children are your heritage, Lord, and we are so grateful to have received your reward of the fruit of the womb. Psalm 127 verse 3. We praise you because our children will be like arrows in our hand and we will be happy with our cure full of children. Psalm 127 verse 4. Great is the peace of our children, Lord, for they shall be thought of you. Isaiah 54 verse 13. We thank you because children are your heritage, Lord. And we are so grateful to have received your reward of the fruit of the womb. 
Psalm 127, 3. We praise you because our children will be like arrows in our hand and we will be happy with our quiver full of children. Psalm 127, 4. Great is the peace of our children, Lord, for they shall be taught of you. Isaiah 54, 30. Lord, we bless you because we know your thoughts towards us are of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And we declare that the expected end will be the safe delivery of perfect and healthy children. Every good and perfect gift is from above and comes from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. James chapter 1 verse 17. Therefore, we are assured that our babies are good and perfect in Jesus' name. Lord, we bless you because we know your thoughts towards us are of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. Jeremiah 29, 11. And we declare that the expected end will be safe delivery of a perfect and healthy children. Every good and perfect gift is from the above and comes from the father of lights with whom there is no variation of shadow of turning. James 1, 17. Therefore, we are assured that our babies are, of, are good and perfect in Jesus' name. We will not be afraid of anything concerning this pregnancy and the safe delivery of our babies. We rebuke fear and doubt for the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power and a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. We cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. We bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5. We let the peace of God rule in our heart and we refuse to worry about anything. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. We will not be afraid of anything concerning this pregnancy and safe delivery of our babies. We rebuke fear and doubt, for the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound mind. 2 Timothy 1, 7. We cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. We bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians 10, 5. We let the peace of God rule in our heart and we refuse to worry about anything. Colossians 3:15. We shall not labor in vain or have trouble bringing forth for offspring are the seed of the blessed of the Lord. Isaiah 65 verse 23. Your joy will be our strength, Lord. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. For you are the strength of our life. Philippians 4.13 We shall not labor in vain or have trouble bringing forth for our offspring or the seed of the blessed of the Lord. Isaiah 65.23 Your joy will be our strength, Lord. Nehemiah 8 10, for you are the strength of our life. Philippians 4 13. Father, pain is under the curse of the law, and your word says that Jesus bore our pain. So we rebuke all pain and declare that we will have short, easy, pain free delivery in Jesus' name. Isaiah 66 verse 7. We will not tolerate any pain or complications during our pregnancy and delivery. Father, pain is under the curse of law, and your word says that Jesus bore our pain. So we rebuke all pain and declare that we will not will have a short, easy, pain-free delivery in Jesus' name. Isaiah 66, 7. We will not tolerate any pain or complications during our pregnancy and delivery. Amen. Amen. Prayer for pregnancy. Heavenly Father, I thank you, I praise you. Lord Jesus, Galatians 3.13 says that you have redeemed us from every curse of law. Whatever the curse is, it has been destroyed and nailed on the cross. Lord, you have redeemed each one of us. We thank you so much, O oh Lord, as we lay our hand on our womb. We speak life into this womb. We rebuke the spirit of death that is causing miscarriage and abortion in the name of Jesus. Lord, your life is flowing into this womb bringing recovery, restoration of the baby in the womb. In the name of Jesus, as we listen and understand your word day and night, we are changing every negative report that was going against the conception of our baby. I thank you, Lord, that a great transformation has taken place in our life in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit. The curse of barrenness, the curse of miscarriage is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Our baby is conceived with no symptoms or complications of any sort and is going through 
full term our baby is delivered healthy normal free normal pain free in Je- in the name of jesus amen 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 please god welcome everyone to another session of mamas and papas please god <laughs> anyone would like to give any testimony today before we start <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I want to share one uh, testimony. Praise God. Um, this was uh, for one of my family members. And uh, we were praying uh, for the job, actually. The first job. And uh, it so happened, whenever that uh, this person uh, applied for the job, uh, wherever it was, they were asking for the bribe, even though there are vacancies, uh even though uh, the person get uh, through that interview and this was a very difficult task because uh, and the bribe was not uh, it was a very huge amount so and uh, praise god so we held on to that and especially because i i was praying for this person to get the job and when i was told that it is becoming difficult because of the uh, bribe uh, they are asking for and praise God. Thank you, Jesus. But uh, I declared, I said, no bribe will be paid because our God is a mighty God and he can bring the job from, from wherever it is. And uh, not only for this person, I pray whenever someone asks me to pray for the job, I, I declare that the job is coming in search of that person. Uh, and because we have the spirit of excellence, we have the mind of Christ and God has made us the head and not the tail. Uh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So, I I always used to, whenever I used to remember uh, whoever, it's not only one, this particular person in our family, but uh, whoever I used to remember about the job, I always used to declare because I do not know whom uh, that moment is required to pray for because there are so many who are going through the financial difficulties and very difficult to find a job because, um, uh, because of so many uh, uh, things going around uh, praise God and uh, uh, now recently I have been told uh, that you know this person our family member that received a job and that too without a bribe and uh, already started working so I give a, a glory to our God because nothing is impossible for him and when we depend upon him and wait for him uh, for his uh, for, for, for his intervention because not through our might, but through his um, abundance that we receive all the things in our life. So all glory to our God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank God. you, Jesus. Praise God. Definitely. Even though it may take some time, but when we wait righteously on the Lord, we do not need to go into any illegitimate ways. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Reshma, for sharing. Anyone else wants to share any testimony? Okay. Then we will continue with the topic from last week. Because of the testimony last week, we couldn't continue with our topic. So this is the end. Does delay bother you? Okay. So... Let us look at John chapter 11, verses 5 to 6. Shall I share the screen? Yeah, yeah, dear. Yes, sister. So this is a story about Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Does anyone know about the story about Martha, Mary, and Lazarus? Yes, sister. Yes. Most of us knows about it. Was this the third situation? Can you repeat the scripture, sister? Please. Uh, John chapter 11. Okay. Verse 6. Verse 5 to 6. So I think actually we can start from. Just put John chapter 11, sister. Fine. Okay. 
and uh, which translation is done? Mm, doesn't you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, New King James. Yeah, New King James version. Uh, from verse five onwards, we can do this. We'll go to King James Version, if not, sister. That's fine. King James Version, just on top. It's fine. Okay, one. Um... Yeah. So this chapter talks about the death of Lazarus. Was five, right? It... Yes, sister. Okay. Shall I read? Yes, sister. Okay. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days, still in the same place where he was. Then Please after go. that... Yes, sister, we'll stop there. So now, Jesus was a very good friend to Martha. The sister's name was Mary and Lazarus. He loved them a lot. And he heard the news came to him that Lazarus was sick. Okay. But still, Jesus took about two days to come to meet Lazarus. Why do you think there was a delay for Jesus to come and meet Lazarus? Because uh, when the news was given to him about Lazarus being sick, uh, Jesus said that it would not turn to death, but it will be for the glory of God. Amen. Yeah, but uh, why did he take two days? It says there. Mm -hmm. So when he heard he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. Yeah, you said the right thing, sister. Sister Fatima, you did say it, it was for the glory of God that he was going to raise Lazarus back to life. And that's why he did not go immediately. Isn't it? He did not go immediately, but he stayed two more days in the place where he was. There was a delay. One thing is, when the information went from Martha to Jesus, it would have taken a time because they are not phoning there's no phone call yes please. it is by a messenger so it would take time then once jesus received it he also can't go straight away they're not going by car or any flight or anything like that they need to go by walk or a donkey or anything like that so it will take time again but jesus stayed two more days because he wanted to do whatever he wanted to raise Lazarus. He was sick. He wanted to bring Lazarus back to life for the glory of God. He did not want it just to be done for people to know it was done. No, he wanted the Lord, his heavenly father, to be glorified through this act. Okay, we can continue reading, sister. Then after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, lately the Jews sought to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, 
Are there not well hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But if one walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. These things he said, and after that he said to them, Our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I go that I may wake him up. Amen. How does Jesus put that word? He does not say, Lazarus is dead, but he sleeps. But we give death to every situation in our life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm having this problem. That's why this is happening in my life. I'm having this situation going on. That's why there's no peace in my life. I don't have this part of my career being built. That's why I'm not able to get that job. And this is not, this is lacking in me. So we give up our God. But Jesus spoke so beautifully and said, he is sleeping. When we go for a funeral, do we say that person is sleeping? No, that person is dead. He is no more. Eternal restaurant unto him, O Lord. That's what we speak. But how beautifully the Lord speaks to him. And still, in his way, when he is going to give life back, to Lazarus, there are obstacles, but how God breaks that obstacles down. He knows this is not a town where he is accepted, but Jesus changes it and says, in the day, it's not always going to be night. When there is light, what will happen? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But if one walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. So why did Jesus say it? Because he believed that the light is already in him. Why does he need to be afraid of any situation around Many a times we want to get, we want to do something. We want to adventure into doing something different in our lives. But we are not able to go forward because we are so bombarded with all the situations. The facts around us says, oh, all this is happening. It will not work for you. This this." Treatment will not work for you. This medication will not work for you. This problem will not be solved because the facts encroach your problem and you're not able to make a decision. But when you stand with the Holy Spirit saying, Holy Spirit, you lead me, you guide me, you protect me. And I know I'm adventuring through the situation with your grace and love. And definitely I will see 100% results because I'm not going to a land which is blessed, but whichever place I put my foot on, it is blessed because I am the blessing. We forget to think that we are the blessed instead of that we think that place is a blessing that house is a blessing that person is a blessing no we are the blessing praise God amen yes sister we can continue reading praise God then his disciples said Lord if he sleeps he will get well however Jesus spoke of his death but they thought that he was speaking about taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, that you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go to him. Then Thomas, who is called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. Amen. Yes, Amen. God. Continue, sister. 
So when Jesus came, we found that he had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away, and many of the Jews had joined the woman around Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Amen. Yes, sister, to stop here. Yeah. So now they explain over here. Does explain? So when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb for four days. So Lazarus was there for four days. And now they explain that it was two miles away. I don't know how much two miles is, but it is a distance, isn't it? So it took a long period for Jesus to come. And Jesus spoke life Every moment he spoke about Lazarus, he spoke life upon him. And he knew this giving Lazarus back life is going to give wonderful glory for that town. And that's what he wanted to do it. Praise God. Yes, sister, you can continue. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary was sitting in the house. Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would, ha would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Praise God. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Amen. Jesus we stop your sister. Praise God. So Martha already seen the resurrection. She already knew Jesus is the life giver. And whatever this delay may be, she knows that a brother has received that life. And when Jesus was talking to her, Jesus said to her, "Even, but even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. And Jesus said to you, your brother will rise again. Martha believed, yes, Jesus Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So she is looking at the resurrected life of a brother. But Jesus is talking about this moment I'm giving back life. The same way. There are many situations in our life which has been said it is dead. Do not speak about that situation. It cannot be changed. This chapter is closed in your life. You will not progress. These things cannot be changed. But Lord, the Lord is saying, it, nothing is impossible for him. I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Are you ready to ask him? He is ready to give it to you. And he is ready to resurrect everything which is dead in you. Lord, like Lazarus was dead, nothing, four days, Lord Jesus. The tomb would have been decayed. The body would have been decayed, smelling. But Lord Jesus, you brought him back to life. The same way we have spoken so many things about our situations, about our body, about our, uh, our personal things, about 
some individual about our spouses, so many things we would have spoken and made it dead, Lord. But today we believe, Lord, you have resurrected it back to life, Lord. You have given back life to every situation that was dead. Doctors proved, Lord Jesus, that this cannot be done. But Lord, you said, ask and it will be given. You ask unto the Lord and it will be given. And we believe we have received life in that situation, Lord Jesus. Yes, doctors claimed, Lord Jesus, that this cannot, this treatment will not work for you. It is only left in your hands, 10% chances, 20% chances. But Lord, I know you are my provider. Even if there is a delay at this moment, Lord, I believe, Lord, I stand firm. You have promised no woman in this world will be barren, Lord. No woman is barren, Lord Jesus. And I am a fruitful mother, Lord Jesus, and I see anointed children. I do not want to go through different processes of treatment. I want to stand firmly on your word, Lord Jesus, Lord, to receive your blessing, Lord Jesus, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit speak through every individual around me, Lord Jesus, Lord. And I know, Lord Jesus, you have blessed and anointed my womb to bring forth the fruitfulness in my womb, Lord Jesus. As you brought life back to Lazarus. If Mary and Martha said, please do not ask Jesus to come, my brother is dead, he is no more, they would have not seen their breath brother back again isn't it they could have said do not trouble him just tell him to carry on with what he is doing they could have said a message but they waited upon the lord they were very happy to know that martha was very excited to hear that our lord jesus has come praise god yes sister you can continue praise god Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives in and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God. Who is to come into the world? Amen. Amen. Shall I continue, sister? Yes, sister. And when she had said these things, she went her way and secretly called Mary, her sister, saying, The teacher has come and is calling for you. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the town, but was in the place where Martha met him. Then the Jews who were with her in the house and comforting her, when they saw that Mary rose up quickly and went out, followed her, saying, She is going to the tomb to weep there. Then, when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled, and he said, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, See how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man who opened the eyes of the blind also kept this man from dying? Amen. We'll wait here. Stop here, sister. So in all this journey we are looking, first Martha ran much further 
from where her brother was or the house was. And she was having this conversation from Jesus. And then Jesus spoke, said, where is your sister Mary? And he, he spoke. And Mary even asked, Lord, if you were there, my brother would have not died. Jesus, the first time he has ever wept, isn't it? Because he loved Lazarus a lot. He loved Lazarus a lot and he also was emotionally disturbed with this situation. But this did not stop Jesus from going ahead and bringing back. So Jesus also loves each and every one of us. The moment you all also are weeping, you're in tears. Jesus is saying, I've already shed those tears on the cross for you. all. Why do you want to still keep crying for and looking at your situation being dead? But instead believe, as I have raised Lazarus back to life, I've raised your situation. Stand, focus on the end result. Do not stand focused on your situation, on your emptiness. You look at yourself empty now, but the Lord is saying, I've already filled your hands. So remember, like Martha and Mary was waiting, it was four days that brother was dead. That was a long period. Do you ever think they would have had any belief that their brother has come back to life? No. No. Their life, they were thinking about their brother was life in eternity. Isn't it? They are thinking of the resurrected life. So remember, the greater the delay, the greater the glory. The more you are waiting on the Lord, the Lord is bringing the greatest glory. I think you all would have seen this in many situations. You must be waiting, waiting, waiting for things to happen. And when it happens, you are just wonderstruck. How, Lord, you gave me this such a big opportunity. Or it may be a financial blessing. Or you would have been delivered from some crisis. Lord, how did I get through this? Because you waited upon the Lord and not walked in unbelief. So if the enemy is trying to delay something in your life, that means if the enemy is trying to delay your dreams that you have, like for so many reasons, like Lazarus, the situation was dead, dead. That means there was no life. But even though Jesus took four days later, he was always on time. Even though it was four days, he was on time. So we may not know what situation we are going through. Why is this happening in my life? We may not know. But when we come to the end result, we see the glory of God. Do you think Martha and Mary were going to see any glory in this situation? No. no, no, they were crying, they were in grief. The people around them were also wondering what's happening. This person, Jesus, has healed so many people. Why couldn't he come a little earlier? And we also are asking the same thing. Lord, why can't you give it now, Lord Jesus? Why there is a delay only in my life? 
why my situation why my there is no manifestation for me why am i looking at delay why am i looking at emptiness in my situation there is no answer to my problem why am i still standing at my problem because i am only looking at my problem then looking further more to say that my problem has already been solved just one thing do not let delay bother you or discourage you one thing when we were looking mata every word that jesus said she did not rebuke or cancel the blessings which jesus was speaking on lazarus she said yes lord i know my brother will rise back to the resurrected life she was speaking in line with god's word she did not cancel or rebuke his word but she did not know what is going to happen with the lord here praise god let us continue reading then jesus again groaning in himself came to the tomb it was a cave and a stone lay against it jesus said take away the stone martha the sister of him who was dead said to him lord by this time there is a stench for he has been dead for four days jesus said to her did i not say to you that if you would believe you would see the glory of god amen just stop your sister praise god so if you would believe you will see the glory of god is martha looking with a physical eyes and trying to believe is she looking at the situation physically and trying to speak yes yes she saying he is dead it's four days there will be a bad odor a stink there lord do you still want me to open and what jesus is saying did i not say to you that if you would believe you would see the glory of god you were right sister fatima that's why jesus came that's why there was a delay because he wanted to see the glory in you and in me he wanted to see the glory in you and in me and that's why my brothers and sisters that's why there is a delay that is why there is a delay because god is not just bring ordinary children into this world from your womb but extraordinary your situation is not not just going to be solved just ordinarily but extraordinarily you are going to be raised in that situation in that crisis which you are waiting and the lord is waiting with you the lord is waiting with you for you to understand and mold yourself to be in union with the lord he wants you to bring this child up for the glory of god praise god you may say lord but i'm doing everything rightly i am speaking your word i'm learning your word i've done everything but when your child arrives how much of the word will you remember to instill in your child how much of the word will you stand upon when you receive your child that is the most important part of our life praise god anyone wants to share anything that the holy spirit is leading you at this moment hello sister can you hear me yes sister 
yeah uh, i want to share a small testimony uh, that last week uh, we had gone to goa for 3 days uh, and i am 5 uh, months pregnant now so the entire time like 3 uh, days we were traveling and uh, 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 we came back to mangalore then from mangalore uh, the same day we had to travel to chikmangalore so uh, the journey is very curvy the roads are very curvy so once i sat in the car i started to get a lot of negative thoughts uh, telling that you traveled for 3 days and now again you're traveling uh, the roads are very curvy you should have stayed back what if something wrong happens uh, there's there are no hospitals uh, uh, and it was uh, late in the evening around 7 o'clock so what if something goes wrong what if something goes wrong all these thoughts were constantly you know running in my head so that time i just uh, told my mind to stop and i spoke the word of god telling that god is in control i told uh, uh, abba father jesus holy spirit you please take control of the situation i completely surrender uh, this journey into your hands until i reach my destination so after that the journey went so smooth uh, we reached earlier than scheduled and uh, i had uh, no fear no pain uh, nothing so uh, i realized the moment i surrender anything to into god's hand it uh, uh, goes out very smoothly praise god praise god mm-hmm. and congratulations sister on your Thank pregnancy you. and you, god has blessed you to feed your child from the womb not when the child comes out from yes. this very moment to feed your child we are so occupied with feeding ourselves yes. when a woman gets pregnant with healthy nutritious food physical food yes. but we forget about spiritual food and god has blessed you with that spiritual food and that's what when that time of fear comes how yes. do you overcome that battle and you win that battle with the grace of god you yes. may not know what scripture to speak but just calling upon the name of jesus is more than enough that's all mm. jesus wants you to do call and believe in him and every death situation he will bring it back to life yes praise sister god. praise god sharing please god please god yes sister you can continue sister yeah. reshma please god then they took away the stones from the place where the dead man was lying and jesus lifted up his eyes and said father i thank you that you have heard me and i know that you always hear me but because of the people who are standing by i said this that they may believe that you sent me now when he had said these things he cried with a loud voice lazarus come forth and he who had died came out bound hand and foot with grave clothes and his face was wrapped with a cloth jesus said to them lose him and let him go amen 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 so in this passage if you would see i think little earlier jesus groaned in the spirit that means jesus was peaking in faith to his abba father before he got to this situation that's why many a times we emphasize on speaking in tongues how important it is to groan in the spirit to speak in tongues you may think oh it's just something that we do not understand but every day giving that time in speaking in tongues or when you are in a situation that you are unable to understand the solution for it the lord will reveal the mysteries by speaking in tongues i think can you find it 
Then Jesus, again groaning in himself, came to the tomb. He was continuously speaking in the faith language to his heavenly father. And before he spoke, Lazarus, come out. What did he say? If you go down a little. Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. He's not looking at glory to himself, but to his heavenly father. Now, when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice from his heart, saying, Lazarus, come out. There are so many situations which are dead in your life. There are so many parts of your body which you consider it dead. Speak to those parts and tell it to come back to life and with groaning in the spirit. That's all the Lord wants you to do. That's all he wants you to do to bring back life. And I have seen restoration and life and complete healing through this in my life. Many people said, go to the doctor, check with the doctor and see. But I know my God is the answer to my healing. And I stood firm. I did not say them that, tell them that. But, and I can see tremendous changes in my life. Praise God. So Praise hold on to the word. Hang on to the word. Do not be disturbed if your time has been delayed because it is done for the glory of God. Remember the day of glory. This year is the year of your blessing. You are blessed to hold your children in your womb. Next year, we are seeing every mother who was standing here with her anointed children in her arms. Praise God. Let us look at Romans 12, verse 12. Uh, uh, praise God, sister. Uh, before yes. we go that, uh, uh, as it was, uh, we were reading this, the verse 40 to one moment. Yes, sister. Uh, Jesus says that, you know, I know that you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Uh, there are two things here, sister. One is for the glory of God that he uh, raises Lazarus from dead and he gives lives to him. And another thing that, you know, so that people believe that he is a son, he is a Messiah, he is a son of the father. Heavenly Father, and there are two things happening over here: that Jesus uh, gave life uh, to Lazarus, and another thing that through this miracle, through this whatever Jesus has performed the miracle, that people believe that in Him, uh, that He is the one who have our Father has sent in this world. So, because uh, when I was reading, because this my attention caught on this. Uh, Verse sister. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, it was not only for the glory of God, but as Sister Reshma said, through the revelation of the Holy Spirit, that it was to prove that He was the Son of God. Amen. 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 So let us look at Romans 12, verse 12. Yes. Because sometimes the, you know, the delay, there is a delay in the manifestation and the delay when the uh, the manifestation happened, it's not the miracle, it's not only for us, but only also for the people to see that glory that is not through the our uh, merit, but through the, uh, through the, you know, true. It, it is through the, uh, through God. I mean, through the, uh, that, 
it, this this miracle has happened praise god Romans chapter 12 verse 12. Shall I read, sister? Yes, sister. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. Amen. So be joyful in hope, believing that the Lord has already answered your prayer. Like Anna was standing and she was mumbling and Samuel, and uh, when the prophet, I'm sorry, I couldn't, can't get the name. Eli El Elisa. Priest, priest Eli. Eli, yeah, Eli. When he told her, what, are you drunk? She said, no, I'm not drunk. But she stood in hope on every word that Eli said. And she did receive a miracle. So be joyful in hope, patient in afflictions, whatever may be the affliction you're having. So many controversial words coming against you. So many speaking about all the facts that are around you. But be patient in your tribulations in your afflictions and continually continuing steadfastly in prayer. Be faithful in your prayer. That means holding on to the promises of God. How? Oh, by reading the word of God every day, chewing on the word of God, studying on the word of God. I tell you, only when you sit and you read the word of the Lord, the Lord will give his revelation. There are times you don't have time to sit with the word of God. Do we have time to sit and flick through our phones? At least minimum 20 minutes we can flick through our phones, looking through different apps. If God... if if you could receive that time, use that time in a quiet space or wake up a little early and sit with the word and the Lord will reveal it. Until you get the understanding of that chapter or that few lines that you're reading in the word, do not move to the next because the Lord has given you his Holy Spirit to reveal the word through you. So be steadfast, faithful in prayer. That's all we need to take today from today's teaching. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in your tribulation or affliction, whatever may be the affliction around you, whatever anyone who's saying, do not react, but act in love continuing steadfastly in prayer, continuing to be faithful in prayer. So when you have received the, the promises and when you know the end is victory and when you know you are an overcomer, you will be joyful in hope and patient in affliction and tribulation. When will you know that? Only when you have received the promises of God and you know your victory is near and you know you are an overcomer. So you are, you need to be constant in prayer, constant in thankfulness and constant in God's word. Constant in prayer, constantly thank, be thankful to God. I'm praying, praying, sister, continuously I'm praying. But when I see someone who is 
a believer who knows the word i pour out all my problems i say from a to z my situations again when you bring back life to your dead situations the past which is over all the bitterness which was there when you bring back life that means you have not forgiven and all that stands as a stronghold in your heart constant trusting in that god can do all things to them that loved god so what the enemy meant for evil god will take that things and turn it around for you in goodness so whatever you're waiting for is going to come with greater glory and this is the blessed assurance this is the blessed hope we have and we do not cast away this confidence in the lord so i'm just going to make a prayer now and close thank you jesus thank you my sweet jesus for all those sisters and brothers who are waiting for their blessing thank you lord the greater the delay the greater the glory and that is what you did for mary martha and lazarus where the situation was completely dead the doctor declared your womb is dead you no more you can bear for children you had so many miscarriages you had so many things but lord i declare today my womb is made in perfection the ch children which are knitted in my womb is perfectly growing lord today is my day lord jesus of ovulation thank you jesus today is the day lord jesus lord where you have anointed my womb lord jesus is blessed lord every fallopian tube is in perfection lord jesus every blockage lord jesus is released in the mighty name of jesus because your precious blood is flowing through lord every ovary lord every cyst which is there or any mass which is there dissolves melts like wax in the mighty name of jesus any obstruction in the uterus lord melts like wax in the mighty name of jesus the hormones lord jesus which are imbalanced lord jesus lord they come back to normal in the mighty name of jesus thank you for blessing our husbands lord we thank you lord jesus their fertility is in perfection lord jesus lord lord the most important thank you for the increased sperm count lord and lord jesus thank you for the anointed children that are growing in our womb lord we praise you we praise you lord jesus lord what facts what facts were spoken death about our fertility lord jesus you have reversed it like you reversed it for sarah lord where a womb was considered to be dead lord you reversed it back and isaac was born the same way we are blessed lord and our wombs are fruitful we carry our children and all those mothers who are anointed with their babies lord jesus we thank you for that baby to be growing with your word lord jesus anointed with the holy spirit lord jesus lord like lord jesus john the baptist he left for joy when he her when he my mother mary came near him lord the same way our babies in the womb leap for joy at this moment lord hearing your word and our babies are standing on the foundation of your word lord we praise you and we thank you so whatever is dead in you is brought back to life the dead finances the dead situations the dead things the dead health the dead ministry of yours the bible says jesus has resurrected it in the mighty mighty name of jesus amen and amen 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 thank you jesus praise god